Okay, um, we gonna download uh, the software. So <coughs> you provide the link you sent. So enter and you select download. And you see that uh, um, it has default open when completed. That can be, you can a little bit different, but uh, that's you have to take into account that you really open the file and of really extract the file. Okay, uh, I'll pause it because this is 90 minutes left. So. It's almost done. The last seconds probably will take some time. Okay. Uh, pause. A few seconds left. And give it a chance. Okay. Completed. Uh, we go over here. Um, here is I checked my installer executable and maybe it's uh, for some various scanners it's uh, is dangerous so maybe you should disable your file scanner because uh, I got a lot of uh, undetected and some detected so that's a hint if you you can also try it with file scanner, and if you don't have uh, the executables, so you know that uh, you have to disable your file scanners and unzip again. Okay, it has been got close. This one. So, um, so we're gonna right mouse extract all, not double not double click. It probably takes also a while. So, um, oh, 150. Okay, we pause that. And it was, I was to the and this, um, it's uh, installed here. You have to have five of them. Sometimes this is also uh, thrown away, but now we have all five of them. This checksum is only to verify if this, uh, you can verify if this is uh, properly downloaded. Because this is 14 gigabytes, it's sometimes, uh, they can switch in bits and can cause problems. And so you can check uh, if what's happened. Um, let me see. Yeah. Um, now we're going to start. Run as administrator. Yeah, and here is the screen I was looking for. Um, don't run, don't select it. You get more info because um, that's unrecognized. So more info, run anyway. And I have to speed it up because I cannot pause the uh, I cannot pause the um, the recording when this is available. Okay, uh, let me see. Here you say you will do a standard install on disk C. If you want to install on D, E, or F, drop me a mail and there are some tricks, easy tricks to do uh, for you. And I press now OK. You get this window, you will see 
a lot ext extracting and then it remains silent and silent and silent. Now let me see, I have 94 cubite of space. Um, what could have been nicer is that you throw away the zip file. And that's strange. Okay, that's yeah. So now I have uh, a few bytes more. Let me see what's happening further. You can close this uh, window, that's not necessary. And um, yeah, this takes a while, and you will hear an, uh, an setup window appear, and you have to select OK. But in meanwhile, I pause the simulation. And you can see that the uh, fire scanner takes 30% up, and you can see that's still working, that you see this is running. And there probably are two Windows installers uh, popping up, showing that this uh, things are installed. Okay, uh, the resume is uh, busy. If, uh, the setup is complete. If I press now OK, after setup complete window, it also takes a while to finish updating the software. That takes uh, probably longer as the uh, install itself, the sort of copying and uh, distributing the files correctly. So, okay. And you probably, I, I hold the but you will see uh, a pair of black when uh, a window, something what's extracting something, and then you know that's still running. And uh, the, uh, the complete uh, is still uh, working, so. That is nice. Okay, we pause again. Okay, this is indicating that uh, it's installed. If you already have ADN VPN installed, he, he skips it. Um, we press OK. Let me see what he did here. Oh, I have to modify my script. Writing, not writing two times, custom spin, custom there spin that. Uh, that seems to be, yeah, a moving temporary file is okay. It seems to be very okay. Okay. Um, we're gonna, uh, uh, yeah, we don't press okay at this moment. We're gonna try if e e VPN starts up. Problem, I had it already installed, so you have to connect to uh, the website uh, to be connected. I cannot disconnect it to show you, but this works, so now we're going to look if we can start uh, Siemens. Uh, oh yeah, that, uh, the ADVPN will be in the, in the mail or in the, in the, uh, the install tutorial. Uh, Siemens new, yes, and that's very strange. I thought I did uh, okay. Oh, yeah, here are the, the older ones. Um, this is new one, we'll have a look. And uh, you don't need this if you work at Fontes, uh, you only really need this if you work at home. Um, let me see if this works. Yes. Okay, um, that's nice. So you can say decline. Oh yeah, this is also very nice. Ah, oh, that was the other 
always, if you look, find something like this with Siemens here, except allow access. If you uh, do not uh, allow access, Siemens does very strange things and you cannot work. And I try to find the, uh, resolve the problems, but that was uh, deleting everything in the registry manually and do a new install. So please uh, allow access. Later on, if you work with FEM, you get also the, this kind of uh, windows and always allow access. Oh yeah, this is, uh, I have to log in to give that. Uh, yes. And let's see, can I drag this to, yes, I can drag this out of the way. That's nice to the other screen. Okay, um, some settings you have to do. Um, this one is content all advanced. Probably it's already default, but I for the security to get this. And you get all the menus, so as in most tutorials and in books are explained. And then you do file new. And you, um, you probably have a model one, but that is, he numbers it up if you have uh, existing models. And I miss here by default uh, some menus, and that's the view menu and the utility menu. So you can measure, hide, shadings, and so on. Important part is to save this, then stores it in there somewhere in the registry, I hope. Um, let me see. Um, okay, now I'm still busy and quick and dirty first uh, part. My favorite uh, beam. Escape. 12. This. Six mouse button, middle mouse button is accept and okay to humility and then extrude 100 is okay. And then you can here see the standard views now, or you can now it uh, is it uh, automatic and you can see that it's the wireframe. Shade it and some other stuff and measure okay. to the home distance. Okay, um, this seems to work. Maybe quick and dirty control shift D. Um, A3 base view. All of you, maybe we go to a base view and we make this the automatic view and settings, I believe, and then in the shading, fully shaded. Okay, that you see uh, the the points and the uh, planes is because I go to modeling back with Ctrl M. You see the mirror. You look through a window uh, to, to to the views. Um, save. Yes. Let me think about if I've got something. Yeah, I've got something. 
if you start up, you get a, you come across the discovery centrum, and um, you can here uh, to take some quick courses, and they appear on my uh, in my can I drag them down? Yes, so you can uh, do some material, some quick tutorials for this. You can see we have a number from what you can do, select the mouse button, so this is a very nice thing to start and next with. Um, let me see, there was an other, but oh yeah, this one, first tip, uh, I firmly recommend to do the first tips. Uh, for example, view the model, how the mouse works, and so on. That's very nice. And dialog boxes that uh, you skip uh, at the middle mouse button, advance to the next necessary or obligatory item. So that's, have a look at it. This uh, makes life a little bit easier. The correct naming conventions and so on. Yeah. Okay, um, I pause for a while if I think if I forgot to have forgot some. Okay, um, I did not forgot something, so I'm gonna stop the recording. Thank you for your time. I hope this was uh, uh, complete. I think everything I want to show uh, is shown. Thank you for your time.